Hello, it is I, Shy Kyogre79, at like 12 a.m. because this is my drawing time. <laughs> I might get interrupted by my cat a few times while doing this drawing tutorial, but I hope it will be helpful for people. Um, this is probably going to be the weirdest drawing tutorial that you've ever seen. Because I'm a weird human being, and... And, um... Sorry, I'm moving my tablet. Okay. Now that I'm closer to the mic, as in the whole iPad itself. Um... So... You want to draw a fish. And you don't know how to draw the fish because the fish is complicated. I applaud anyone's efforts who tries. I, ex <laughs> I accept it's hard to draw sparkly fish. This is the official ref. Um, it's on my toy house page under, under SK's character for Pi. Um, if you need it. This was drawn by Mar. Mar did a good job. And then this one is the ref I made before it to hopefully help with this ref to be created. So I will probably ramble. I apologize. I also apologize for the audio quality because it's going to be poop. And you'll probably hear everything that happens. Because I don't have a mic for this iPad. <sighs> this is the drawing tutorial I wish I had. It's going to be absolute chaos. And at first it will not make sense, probably. But after a while, it will make perfect sense. Because I'm a weird human being. Thing. Maybe. I might not be human at this point. <laughs> Because I'm a weird person. And brain think weird. So, therefore, I will be explaining this. Probably very weird. Most drawing tutorials that I saw while trying to learn to draw was like, Draw a circle. That's not a circle. Excuse me. Draw a circle. Draw lines. Now, this is really bad. Boom, Pikachu. <laughs> uh, like that, that's practically what they were like, especially books. And as an auditory person, I learn by listening and Listening to explanations is rare in the drawing community. At least when a kitty. You probably heard my cat yell at me. She's yelling at me because she don't like me talking to myself or other human beings. So, yeah. I said I would be interrupted by my cat. And lo and behold, I'm interrupted by my cat. <laughs> um. So. Back to this. You want to learn how to draw a fish. I will draw the fish in several different ways. Cat, stop yelling at me, please. I love you. I love you, kitty. But no, no yelling, okay? No yelling. Go to sleep. Go like sleep in your bed. <laughs> She's confused because I don't normally do this. Um, so, alright, on to drawing the fish in several different angles, because I'm not going to leave you hanging with one angle. I typically do about three-fourths angle. Yeah, I do three-fourths, kitty! <laughs> Which is pretty much like that. I always make them look left for some reason. I assume that's just because I'm a right-handed person. 
Um, but typically I draw a circle and then we want, we want, we want milk. So I, I, I draw a little dot and dot. Kitty, what? what? What's the issue, kitty? Do you not like me talking to myself? I do this while staring at the ceiling all the time. You know this. Anyway, tooth. I like the snake tooth. I draw a tooth. Um, then go up a bit, kitty. What? My cat is protesting. <laughs> My cat is protesting the drawing of this fish. Typically, I would erase that because we don't need it. But uh, for for this demonstration, I will just lessen the opacity of it. So we're gonna do that too because we're gonna have to draw go by the um. Spiky doodles on the chin. Should I put some perspective in it? If you can. Um, if you can't, just do a, just do one. I is typically like around the tooth. That's where I put it. Now normally Kyogre's have like eyes like that big. <laughs> but that that's that's not how I do it. So SK has typically almond shaped eye. Like cat eye. My cat is now leaving me, so I assume I have annoyed her enough. Um she might come back for vengeance. I don't know. So then typically draw is the eye and like the pupil. And the iris, and then what would be considered the eye white, but it's it's not particularly white. Color those in. Now, draw the stripes. One following the mouth line. This part, which I have forgotten several times, the little under eye thing. Um, yep, ignore that. That that's that's a spoiler for for stuff. So don't look at don't look at my notifications. Um. Anyway. So now, here come. So this is probably pretty typical for 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 uh, for the drawing tutorial, right? Mhm. Mm okay. Now we we get we get weird territory. So if you know how to generally draw a dinosaur or a lizard, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Just do a very sloppy long neck. So, if you know how to draw a dinosaur, you want to take its tail. Now, trust me. This is going to make sense. Probably. Eventually. Um, I'm going to take the eraser tool. Do I have the eraser be down? So, now we take the d dinosaur tail. And we, and we attach it to the fish. 
So, I typically do like a relatively flat body here. So, like this would be the underside of the tail. That's too long. It takes a lot of trial and error, as you can see. Uh, draw a chonky dinosaur tail. Chonkiest tail on the block. It needs to be chonk. Because chunk is kind of important. SK needs the blubber. It sounds really weird, but it's an orca. SK is an orca. Guy needs. Oh, well, that that line is for Bumpy for the collar. If you're drawing high SK, you need the collar on there. Can help with the chonky dinosaur tail of body. See, if we took off this part, so let's just put that on another layer and then remove it from existence. Let's do that. If I just, I could put that on the dinosaur. It's a dinosaur tail. <laughs> See? It it makes perfect sense. I swear. Okay. So now that you've got worm <laughs> You've got worm instead of fish. And you see at the end, right here, ish. You can either draw a circle as a guide or just go whoop whoop. And then, and then, you know, add the ribbon things. It's like a 90 degree ish angle right here. As you can see on this. And you would typically do that on the other side too, but seeing as we're not really like seeing the other side much, you can just draw like two stray little ribbons over there if you want. Or you could just not include them at all, but depends on perspective. Now, a little uh, color thingy. It doesn't have to be that complicated, you could just put that on the edge. Typically I, I draw the little connector thingy. Collar needs to be better. Better fitting for the for the fish. So it would be on the ground because she's lying like flat because how else would she lie unless, unless she's underwater okay is scooting like seal okay okay so important feature big bubble little bubble so like where the ellipses so in my app if I do that see ellipse my cat is causing problems don't mind her um draw two of those over the eye or near the eye but before the cup so now here comes the harder part let me clean this up though
My cat is causing problems. Banging on stuff. I apologize if you can hear it. Because it's pretty loud. Okay. So now, we're gonna go on another layer just and change the color slightly. Because this next part. Okay. This next part, there's two options. One, you can make the back thin, thin spine. But, but did, ignore that if you can see that. Um, hope not. I will p hopefully be editing this, so I will hopefully, you know, blow that out. Because that has real life information on it, and I don't want that to spread. So. You can either do this. So go really on there. It would probably be honestly like down more to like there. Um with it. But I was mainly trying to show this. So you could either have it just go under the collar. With the red stripe up here. Go under the collar. I've done that before. Um, mostly accident. Typically, I put the thin arm thingy right there and put it back. Then put big piece because because Kyogre's their their arms they go like that. If you really wanted to draw a very simple Kyogre, like to understand the fundamental basics, you draw dinosaur tail, ribbon, and teardrop, and another teardrop, and, and you got and yes, there. That that's a coyote. And, and, and now the back things. That's a Kyogre in a nutshell. I had to spray my cat. She was being bad. <coughs> Bed squeaking. So this that is the general shape of a Kyogre from the top down. If you can understand this, you can make it more complicated into this, to this little sheet. So now, take this, oh. typically, Typically on the shape, they would be like one, two, four, except they're bigger, so I need smaller ones. Would be one, two, three, five. Typically it's one like that, but I might I, I kind of make them more stylized and bigger. And then one that's kind of representing a pump, so she can at least hold things. These aren't really movable, they don't have a joint. So it's just kind of like um, if you had like the little alligator or whatever hand and, and you tried to grab something with it, it would be really hard. So, now. It has, it has something over there. Okay. Anyway. And this. The 
there is the symbol of a sort of A. An A. It's, very, it's more like the alpha symbol, which makes sense. Alpha, sapphire. Um, so you put a jazz circle and you put a line. Align either that like 90 degree or diagonal, make an obtuse angle, then boot. Make it the two thicker and make it connect to the first one. Second one, you do similar. Make it connect to what would be like the pinky. Then these two get an H kind of shape and then you go a smaller circle inside the big circle so I'm sorry if this isn't as detailed as you were expecting like an explanation I'm going unscripted <laughs> um so I realized I did that on the wrong layer but we're gonna fuse them anyway so, yeah, don't worry about the back ones. Typically they go about there. I typically extend them to go like over here. Um, so, and there's red stripes that go here, for a Kyogre typically it goes like that, I think, but for me I just draw a nice little arc, and then this one I just kind of draw down a straight line-ish, where I hide it under the color, and this is the fourth perspective, we're doing that. Okay. So, underneath this bit would be um, the, the right until these things I typically curve them with the body. This bit for me, which is fine. I just have to put the feet back a bit. Apologize if I mess this up the whole thing and don't draw in pen. I would not recommend it unless you're confident. Um, or unless you have a lot of like white out. So, now, you know, you see, you got, you got an SK. You, you got an SK now. So, remember, circle. Dinosaur tail, ribbon, little arm pin. That's being bad again. Excuse me. She keeps going where she's not supposed to. <sighs> Back fins I typically make longer because I think they look cool like that longer but they can be short it really depends on personal preference for that the grill thingies 
typically go behind the arm. And typically so do the red stripes, but at this point I've been drawing them like over the shoulder a little bit. I don't know why, it's probably just a stylistic choice. Not entirely sure. I was meant meaning to like curl it around a little there. Um, but you could also, if you, depending on how short the dinosaur tail is, you could have this back fin have the red stripe leading under the collar which can make things easier if you don't want to remember where stripes are or like how far away stripes are you could just hide it under the collar okay so now we're gonna do another one okay do another another sk we're gonna go from the front now. This will be kind of difficult because I'll try to do it without like mirroring everything. But yogis have front-facing eyes, but they're like on the side of the head. Too kitty. Okay. So now you do the same thing where you take the line and for the for the red lines on the on the face, you follow the mouth. Hi kitty. Do you wanna put in put in on how to draw a fish? You want him? I guess not. I guess she doesn't want him put on how to draw an SK. So then you draw little arcs following the eyes, like the top of the eye, and connect it to the bottom over the mouth line. Connect that kind of to the mouth and to the eye because that is like a top line um if you i i, I like to do it slight ever so slightly three-dimensional where like it has an over bit this one probably looks better than that one but i'm not gonna focus on that and then you draw the under bit under the eye Tiny bit of red under the eye. Then you draw a big sort of indication where the this one would be. Okay. So probably the only thing that you would see from this angle really would be the collar, which I'm gonna sloppily draw here so uh, kitty somewhere she shouldn't having to spray my cat this much but she's being bad and I'm trying to do a drawing tutorial <sighs> Okay. 
back to this. Okay, kind of got the collar going on here. Now, let's see, sort of on a really long seal flipper, kind of from the side. It's got to be longer than this. So you'll probably see some of the some of the bottom of SK's body. So like the belly, kind of. I haven't drawn this perspective really, so I'm kind of winging it. But yeah, trust me. <laughs> I I will figure it out. I don't want the over collar. I apologize. Just if I want to connect like a bounty eyelash or so. If you're adding eyelashes, if you're not, then around the eye. Like the middle of the eye to the top of the eye. That too is that bit. Okay. Now, we, so, draw, do the, might be too big, uh, no, actually, that's, like, perfect, so, big ol' arm, That's the thumb, quote unquote. That she can hold things. And this is these are like the other the other fingies. <laughs> if SK had fingers. SK is but a fish. Um then you draw the marking, same way. Circle a zigzag pretty much right angles and then a sort of H oh wait I connected that to the wrong one so you don't thumb there's no connection there we go okay this I think is it's a bit too low for the body so I need to raise mine a bit to raise it, so that's about, about on level with here-ish, so I want a bit shorter. Fixing some stuff. So, this bit of the torso would be in front. It is like, it's like this bit of the torso in front of pins, and she's standing herself up. So, like, standing in quotes, of course. If, if you have a digital thing, medium, and you can just control C, control V, like that, um, then go ahead and do it. But if you're not a part of that, then... We start at about the bottom of the tooth, from the looks of it, and then the 
bottom starts like mid tag, mid collar tag. There and there. So we just don't forget to round it. it needs to be big to well flatter, I guess. And needs to go longer. It's not gonna be exact, like in the slightest, exactly like the other side, because I didn't expect to do that. Yeah, this side's shorter than that side. Gosh darn it. <laughs> eh. Hold on. Are they blank? That, that, this is a front-facing SK. So literally it. You don't have, if, if you want to, you can, like, add, like, um, press the body somehow behind there. Like, you could add her, add her wagging tail or something. Yeah, uh, that is honestly optional. Tail don't need to exist. Kitty, what are you doing? Kitty, what are you doing? What are you doing, Mr. Nova Kitty? My cat is being weird. She does that. Come here. Stay away from under my bed. I don't trust you under there. Anyway, I don't trust the little shadow monster under my bed. Well, she's gone under my bed anyway. But, yeah, so that's a front-facing Kyogre. Right there. So we're going to put that one uh, down here, I guess. Uh... Back it would pretty much just be the same as this, except it would it would be like a circle point and then um, oop, oop. this is really sloppy, but like it 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 would it would be like the the tail with the ribbon so. We got front facing three quarters, and of course, uh, side profile. It's probably the easiest one. You pretty much do the same as three fourths perspective. Take that, and you take the circle, and then you make the dinosaur tail, chonky dino tail. And then you add the ribbons. And my cat's doing something bad. I don't know what she was doing. I just heard chewing noises. Anyway. And then, um, so we're gonna make the floor there ish. So, tails would be slightly raised, which is not something we want. 
we want flat tail kind of and then the um ribbons very sloppily drawn Kitty, you should go away from where you are right now. Hold on. My cat is very bad at night. And about middle of the circle, I draw the eye. Typically looking up because, you know, she's like on her belly while everyone else is, has legs and can stand. So, cool. Add the, then we can add the, the, the back fins. There's two of them, unlike an orca who has one dorsal fin. Coyotes have two uh, because they were extra. <laughs> and then take this and give a little bit of a snoot. Up. Make sure it's like a curve so it kind of follows the circle. Um, Cause we don't like to keep the circle around here for some reason. Okay, and then snaggle tooth. We put by the eye, and then the line that kind of follows the mouth right into the eye, and then leave a space or erase a space for the bit that goes over the eye. Um, then you draw the sort of right angle-esque curvedy doodle right angle-esque curve for like the white bit that is the chin so then add the, the spiky chin cause this K has one has that and then above the eye, you put the big one and then like the little one right next to it. Then after that, very depending on the size you make it, put the collar behind the general head area, I guess. I draw the lines on the back fin because that's relatively simple. Gonna erase that bit. Um, up here. Four lines and then connect them at about the same spot. Put an indent because indented for some reason. But I I cannot explain. I did not design Kyogre's, but they have an indent. 
then you round it out slightly now you have a general Kyogre now you can either put the arm like right there which would be technically the correct place to put it which I will get a new layer usually to put on the arm Put it like there. We're gonna make the arm go like kind of rest, be resting. So I want my wider bit of surface area there. A little bit, a little bit of a curve here, because yeah. they're kind of resting. Then, kind of thumb-esque one. Uh, how many can I fit here? One, two. leave it sort of under or throw it in there. Um, I'm trying to I'm trying to fit it in. I need to make this one shorter. Just, you know, to fit to fit in. It's monstrosity. <laughs> uh, that's not not correct. It's also not correct. Do I not leave enough room? Ah. Could be another one over there. And then this one's the thumb. We'll go with that. And then we draw the mar the AS marking. Okay, it goes side squiggle the side zigzag patterns go to um the edge fingers and then the H is in the middle too and then the thumb don't get nothing. The thumb gets nothing. And there you go. You have Kyogre's um I hope you have learned some how to draw a Kyogre and I know this was chaotic had a lot of interruptions and I hope it made some semblance of sense and will help you in the future of drawing SK <laughs> if you draw SK um this arm is probably like really bad <laughs> I might redo it. Um, typically, the position the like angle typically works best, honestly. But anyway, that is how you draw the fishy. a circle, then a dinosaur tail, like a chonky one, not, not, not just a basic dinosaur tail, a chonky dinosaur tail, chonkiest, and then you draw little ribbons off it, and put fins back, if you just draw the tail, it's practically a triangle, but yeah, I, I hope that helps. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any questions for this. Um, my cat's yelling at me. I think it's time I go to bed.
Gossip. Um, I wish you luck in your endeavors. And I hope, again, I hope this helps. <laughs> I hope it makes sense. Um, I apologize for all the interruptions, the audio quality, and the absolute chaos that this was. Kitty doesn't apologize. She just yelled at she's yelling at me to go to bed. So I'll go to bed. I'm just saying goodbye. <laughs> um I hope this records. <laughs> Honestly. Anyway.